with you guys it's andrea and i am back with another video i am so freaking excited for this video as some of you guys might know um i have recently mentioned in the past that i am going to start moving on to some more lifestyle content hence this video we are going to be doing some updates to my kitchen and in particular to my spice cabinet because right now it looks a hot mess it's it's not giving what it's supposed to give <laughs> i will show that to you guys but please, this is a no judgment zone. I will show you what my current spice cabinet is looking like. And then we're going to transform her <laughs> into something greater. This product that I'm going to be using, I actually purchased on Amazon. And I have Amazon Prime, so it didn't take long to get her at all. I would say maybe about two, one to two days it arrived and I have been holding on to it until this very moment because I, like I said, I wanted to film it. So. I'm gonna get that box. Came in this huge box. It's kind of heavy. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see exactly what all is inside. I know um, I actually saw another YouTuber. I think it was, I don't know if it was on YouTube or TikTok. I saw somebody actually order these, uh, this same product to transfer their spices over to. And overall, it just looked a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot more aesthetically pleasing. I was immediately interested. <laughs> So I placed my order probably like five seconds after seeing the transformation. And so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that to my spices. But we are going to go over, actually, you know what, before I show you guys my actual spice, or what I call my spice cabinet right now, I'm gonna open this box. We're gonna take a look inside, and then we are gonna get started. So once I got it out of like the protective covering that is the Amazon Prime box, I this is what it looks like now. And Again, we're in a no judgment zone, but I'm gonna open this box up with a knife. So if you decide to do this at home, please be extremely careful. So, and I'm seeing that it's saying on the side of the box that it's fragile. So keep that in mind if you decide to order these. All right, we're gonna open her up. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. You guys, look at the let me try to get that down. The spice label list. It literally has so many. 340 printed spice labels, 46 blank spice labels. Oh wait, okay, let's let's open this up. Okay, so this is how it looks. It has a whole bunch of different spices on there. Um fuck. Let me grab one of them. I love it. Tea, black tea, chai tea, green tea, turmeric, vanilla pots. See, this is gonna make me want to order more things to be able to put them in the actual spice container. So, <laughs> okay, so there are labels. This is some more spice labels. I don't know what the difference in these are, though. So. Let's see. These look like this. There is 317, so that is awesome. And then also, it comes with a funnel. So if you're, you know, obviously transfer, uh, transferring from the original to the other, this is gonna help you with that so you don't make that much of a mess. How cool. It's kind of flimsy too. This, I think if you wanted to write it out yourself, this may be like a chalk marker. Yeah. And ta-da! The actual spices. Get a good look at that. Well, not the actual spices, but the actual containers. Yes, 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 we love it. They look like this. Well, if I can put it in the frame so y'all can see it. Get out one of her friends and compare them. Obviously, they're gonna be the same, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. We might be onto something here, huh? Okay, this is this is her. She's she's been through it. She's had, you know, seasonings coming in and out of here, and just um, yeah. So <laughs> we have, I feel like over time I've built quite the collection. Obviously, I could have so much more. But um, excuse the lighting, but obviously, you know, I have some all the way in the back, back there. Some of the stuff, I'm gonna be honest, is probably empty. So this just gives us the opportunity to throw it away. Yeah, so, uh, not the Kool-Aid packets. Okay, yeah, I don't know if we have a, 
container for those. But so this is what she's looking like right now. And I even have some salt and pepper and stuff. Like what, what are they doing? I don't know. But um, this is how she looks. Okay, so this is our before. So I have gotten all of my seasonings and I have them here with me. And we have our first, we have our first setup. We have our chili powder. <laughs> and I went ahead and took the funnel out of the packaging and we have our first empty seasoning container. So I just went through and looked at, um, I guess like the different scenes between the two like labels that they gave me. And I guess there's not really a difference. It's just whatever your preference is and how you want them to look. And to be honest, I don't know which one I like. Um, oh no, it's clear. She's clear. You know what? Oh, this is, I wanna just kinda see what this is gonna look like. I like that. I think, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with this background versus the other one. Um, and just as a reminder, the other ones kind of look like this. There's nothing wrong with them, but I think I kind of prefer these ones. Now I do hope, and surely they will have everything um, that I need on this packaging, I mean this labeling, only because this one has 317 and then this one has 340. And also the benefit of this one is that they have 46 blank spice labels. And I don't think this one has any. Now I'm deciding, I, I'm like overthinking, should I? Well, let's see, what does this one look like? I'm gonna grab one of the black ones. I mean, it's, it doesn't look bad. It's just not what I'm really going for. I feel like I do have a few like special seasonings that um, probably will not be on the other one. I'm not gonna have like a blank, a blank label to like write it out if I needed to. As much as I would love to use these, cause I think they kind of look just a little bit better. Not saying that the black ones don't look great because they definitely do. They just, I think these look a tad bit better, but just kind of reviewing them, like I don't think right now this is the best decision. Cause I'm afraid I'm gonna get so far deep into like transitioning all of them. And then I'm gonna get to that one that needs either an empty label, like I have to write it out myself or like this one doesn't have it, but the other one does. And I don't wanna get frustrated behind it. So to save myself some pain, I'm just going to do um, the black with the circles. So uh, let's get started. So our first one up is gonna be some chili powder. I'm gonna be surprised at some of my seasonings don't like have any seasoning in them at all and then <laughs> I'm gonna have to go buy a new one. But okay, so chili powder. So I'm just gonna show the first one like this and the rest of them we can kind of go quick. And to be honest, I probably won't even show all of them. I'm just gonna show some of them. So <laughs> chili powder, ch -ch -ch I right there, chili powder. The one thing that I liked about the other one is that it told you what page the, um, what page the label was gonna be on. This one does not, but good thing for me, it's right at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick the little label on there. Chili powder, we love that. Gonna unscrew the top, take the little plastic piece off, put our funnel in. Oh, I must've hit like a, a big lump or something because now it wants to go slow. Oh no, <laughs> it went off to the side. Okay, well that was, that was fairly easy aside from spilling a little bit, but that was good. All right, let's see. She looks nice. She's a little crooked with her labeling, but um, I, if I overthink that, life's gonna be rough. So <laughs> I think it looks pretty good compared to like this, to this. Oh yeah.
these three, um, I am not able to transfer them over to the other containers specifically because these are the ones that you have to, you know, grind to actually get out the salt and the pepper. So what I'm gonna try to do is just take off the wrapping on the outside and then put the sticker essentially in the same spot so that way they're all identical to the rest of them. Try to organize it to put like more of the spicier things on this side, more of the actual like meat seasoning on this side, and then like the sugar and all that, nutmeg, cinnamon all over here. Eventually I think I'll want something to where I can place them and be able to see all of them at one time rather than like I have to actually, you know, pick it up to see what it is with the way that I have this set up. But I'm absolutely happy with the way this looks right now. much for watching this video i am very happy with the result of how my seasoning cabinet now looks it's time for me to go ahead and update the way that it was looking it was time for me to throw out stuff that i had not used in a long time and it was really time for me to throw out stuff that was empty so i'm very happy that i decided to do this if you want to do something similar to this i encourage you to do so you know we're moving on into the holidays you're gonna have family come over you're gonna have people come over you're gonna be cooking why not have your seasonings look aesthetically pleasing make them look good if you're interested in the seasoning containers that i use at uh, in this video i'm going to actually link the um, amazon i guess link down below and if you're interested in purchasing purchasing them definitely go for it um i think they're great i think they look great and like i said i'm super happy with the result if you guys like this video please 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 give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new to my channel i'd be more than happy to have you here um more videos like this are to come and like i mentioned before the holidays are coming up so i have so many things in store so many ideas just coming up in my head that i feel like i have so little time and so much that i want to record that i am just looking forward to it all you guys can kind of see i already have like the hocus pocus on my bed back here but i am very excited i'm looking forward to all of the things that are to come so i will see you guys in the next video hope you enjoyed it catch you guys next time